Educational psychology is a branch of psychology that focuses on how people learn and the best practices to teach them. Educational psychologists study the interactions between learning and environment, including social, emotional, and cognitive processes that influence learning outcomes. This video will explain six key focuses for educational psychologists. The first key focus is the development of instructional methods that enhance learning. Psychological research shows that tailored instruction based on individual learning needs can significantly impact a student's ability to absorb and retain information. For instance, some educational psychologists believe that students learn best through visual means, such as charts and videos, while others might benefit more from hands-on activities or written materials. On a side note, you might want to watch my video on learning styles to learn about the controversy over this educational psychology idea. Another important aspect of educational psychology is the role of motivation in learning. Motivation can be intrinsic, originating within the student, such as a personal interest in a subject matter, or extrinsic, driven by external rewards like grades or praise. Educational psychologists study techniques to foster both types of motivation to enhance engagement in educational achievement. For example, goal setting, self-assessment, and providing meaningful feedback are strategies that have been proven to increase intrinsic motivation and encourage continuous engagement in learning activities. Behavior management in the classroom is also a critical area of study within educational psychology. Effective behavior management strategies help create a supportive learning environment that minimizes disruptions and promotes respectful and constructive interactions among students. Techniques such as positive reinforcement, clear classroom rules, and conflict resolution are essential tools for teachers to maintain order and respect in the classroom. Educational psychologists also explore the impact of emotional and social factors on learning. Emotional well-being is crucial for cognitive development and learning. Students who experience emotional difficulties may find it hard to concentrate and stay motivated. Therefore, providing emotional support through counseling, peer mentoring, and other therapeutic interventions can be vital in helping students overcome personal challenges that affect their learning. Cognitive development theories are also central to educational psychology. These theories guide understanding of how thinking processes evolve and how these processes influence learning. Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development, for example, provides insights into how children perceive the world at different stages of their development and how these perceptions influence their learning process. According to Piaget, children move through four stages of cognitive development, each characterized by changes in understanding and abilities. Teachers can use this knowledge to create age-appropriate learning experiences that align with the cognitive abilities of their students. Lastly, educational psychology pays close attention to assessments and evaluations. These tools are not only used to measure students' knowledge and skills, but also to inform ongoing instructional strategies. Effective assessment helps identify areas where students are struggling and where they excel, allowing for targeted interventions that support learning and growth. Moreover, assessments can be used to evaluate the efficacy of educational programs and interventions, providing feedback that can lead to curriculum improvements and enhanced teaching methods. We've covered a lot of ground in this video at a, a surface level, so I've left some additional videos on the screen for you to explore some educational psychology concepts in more detail. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.